Happy Friday the 13th, my fellow strangers. It's Mrs. Strange here again. On today's episode for Stranger Universe, I will talk about a new interview for Stranger Things 4 with Noah Schnapp, who teases a love triangle in Season 4. Before we start, please like, share, and subscribe to see more episodes from Stranger Universe. Please turn on your notifications to attend video premieres and get a chance to interact with Mrs. Strange and other Stranger fans. Help get this episode to 1000 views and likes if you really want to see us release more Stranger Universe episodes like this one. Please don't forget to share this video across all social media platforms to help fans and viewers join our Strange family and find this great Stranger Universe content. And now, let us begin. Well. This is very interesting. In an interview with the Spanish outlet Shock, Noah Schnapp discussed his role in Stranger Things 4, and he revealed some very interesting things. The article and the interview were written in Spanish by the website, but after being translated, we can find out the details and minor spoilers that Schnapp shared with the interviewer. Right off the bat, he confirmed that the buyer's new town is called Lenora Hills and that Will Byers spends most of his time this season taking care of Eleven and Mike Wheeler. When asked about how different this season was, Noah said. Season 4 is much bloodier than the previous seasons. It's very dark. Nothing is time-based anymore. Usually, our seasons were based on a time period like the summer of 1985, or something like that. This season, it's based on locations. We have our group in Lenore Hills, the classic group back in Hawkins, and then another group in Russia. Of course, they all end up coming together at the end like we always do on Stranger Things, which is really nice. That is perhaps the first confirmation that everyone will reunite at the end of this season, which is the trend based on their previous three seasons, but it's nice to hear it from an actual main cast member. When asked about the tone of season 4, he said. The Duffer brothers always talk about the 80s movies they were inspired by, a lot of Stephen King, Nightmare on Elm Street, all of those. But because my group was in California, there was a beachier, warmer vibe. Our shoot was more like an action movie, and everything was very fast-paced. I think our group will be the one to bring the comedic element and a little bit of lightness to a pretty dark season. I think Stranger Things, more than any other series, always does the best job in that regard. Even though each season gets bloodier, darker and scarier, I always see them strike an impeccable balance with the romance and comedy. It all blends together like a perfect smoothie, and it's amazing. It's interesting that he mentions this, because if that's the case, then this season truly won't be that much darker if the tone is balanced out with the comedy and the romance. It could very be like season 3 where you have the scoop troop acting as the comedic element throughout the season. When asked about Will growing as a character in this season, Schnapp stated. He's a bit of a third wheel between Mike and Eleven, but he just wants to help them and make sure they're okay. After everything he's been through, he's always looking to protect Eleven. He doesn't want anything to happen to anyone ever again. At the end of season 3, everyone ends up crying. It was very sad to see them split up, but I think it's nice for Will to have a break. Will is so excited to see Mike, his best friend, and to be with him and his family. He's always happiest when he's with him. He also mentioned that we'll be seeing more of the dynamic he has with Charlie Heaton this season, meaning that we're going to get more of the sibling relationship between Will and Jonathan, and he also talks about how Eduardo Franco is wonderful as Argyle, a character that will apparently bring out lighter side of Jonathan this season. Now, on to the more interesting stuff. When asked about the relationship between Mike, Will, and Eleven, Noah said the following. Eleven is going through the normal teenage stuff. She's in school and suffers from bullying. There's a scene where she lies to Mike and tells him she has a bunch of friends, and Will thinks, what friends? You don't have any friends. It's nice to see the side of Eleven closer to us, where she's just another teenager and not the superhero that no one could understand. There are separations in every season, where everyone finds their own group and their own love triangle. I don't think it's anything new. But I think it's cool how this time, instead of separating us all into groups, the Duffer brothers wrote this separation in different locations. I definitely find it fascinating that he just had to mention the term love triangle when it comes to separating groups throughout the seasons, and on top of that, saying that Will is happy to see Mike coming over. He's always happiest when he's with Mike, a love triangle? Are we actually going to get some Byler versus Mill even in Stranger Things 4? I don't know. 
but we're going to find out in exactly two weeks when Stranger Things Season 4 finally premieres on Netflix. Overall, very exciting times. And that is all that we have for today. What did you think about this new interview for Stranger Things 4? Today's special shout-out is for Camelot. Comment down below to become our next special Stranger Universe shout-out. And don't forget to follow us at It's Stranaverse on Twitter and Instagram to stay updated with us every day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Stranger Universe. Please turn on notifications to never miss another Stranger Universe episode again. Help get this video to 1000 views and likes if you really want to see us release more Stranger Universe episodes like this one. Don't forget to share this video across all social media platforms to help fans and viewers join our strange family and find this great Stranger Universe content. This episode was brought to you by Mrs. Strange, and this is Stranger Universe.